Hey everyone! Um, today we're going to be talking about hot tools and um, how you can use a bonnet dryer and kind of my experience. Um, so you guys will notice that I have a protective style in, so let's kind of just talk about that. I know I may get some questions. Um, so these are twists. Uh, I used Marley hair for them um, and I've had them in for about a month now, almost a month. I, I guess it'll be a month at the end of February. Um, love them. I, all I gotta do is just get up and go. So it's great to have a protector style, especially during the colder months. I live right outside of DC. So um, I could do a video on maintaining a protective style. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. Leave that comment below um, and I can film and give you guys some tips on how I'm maintaining this style. So what are some things that you can do with a bonnet dryer? So there are a couple of things from my you know, natural hair ladies. Um, some of the things that I use it for would be for um, pre-poos or hot oil treatments. Um, also just to dry your hair in general after styling. So um, this is the bonnet dryer that I am using. Right here, you see that is Hot Tools. It's the Soft Bonnet Ionic Dryer. Um, you'll see a couple of YouTubers that have done reviews on and Ionic dryer before. There are different uh, looks to it. There's, there are different models. Um, this one in particular uh, is a little long. There are ones that come in sort of like a case and the dryer stays in the case. Um, so you'll see a couple of different models out there, but essentially they all do the same thing. They help dry your hair. So, so pros and cons between a bonnet dryer versus a hooded dryer that you typically use at like a hair salon or something like that. And some people have hooded dryers in their homes as well. Um, so just based off of my experience, what I really do like about the bonnet dryer is that it is secured um, all the way around, you know, the frame here. So the heat is more centralized and concentrated. Now, this can scare a lot of naturals too because, you know, heat damage, like I don't wanna do that, Joanne, I'm not sure about all that. Um, but you can also protect your hair by adding a plastic cap in between, you know, the actual heat and your hair. So that's typically what I do. Um, but I really do like that the heat is concentrated because with re regular hooded dryers, the air kind of comes through down here and it's super hot, so uh, I'm like really sensitive, so my ears would kind of burn in the hooded dryer and everything, and that was not my favorite <laughs> part of going to the hair salon and kind of getting my hair done and everything. So I really do enjoy that about the hooded dryer. Also, um, it's really portable, um, just because there's not like, it's not this huge thing to kind of tote around everywhere like a hooded dryer is. So I could literally just pick up this little device, I'll show, I'll show you it in a second, um, and go, you know, answer some emails, work on my blog, edit my website, answer your uh, YouTube comments, and be anywhere in the house. Let's go into more detail on kind of how to use it, what it looks like. So this is the tube that would connect with the bonnet. So you'll see that this is the actual dryer. So it has a nifty little handle too, so you can kind of, you know, like I said, move it around and relocate it. Um, in the center here, you'll see that it has four settings. So the different settings are cool, low, medium, and high. So um, depending on what you're using it for, and I learned this very quickly, um, so I actually uh, did sort of like a hot oil treatment and I thought you know if I put it on medium they'll be able to really heat up those oils and everything and that was not the right thing to do for what I was looking um, from the hot oil treatment it's better if you put it on cool or low for something like that because you just want to stimulate the oil a little bit with a little bit of heat in order for it to penetrate your strands and you know make your hair moist especially if you plan on rinsing it out and um, you know, going ahead and applying a styling component to your hair. So when I put it on medium, it actually dried my hair. and That was not what I was going for. So definitely uh, know the different settings here depending on what you're doing. Um, what you're trying to accomplish with the bonnet dryer is really important. Um, so here you'll see that there's a little compartment. If you pull out the compartment here, you can go ahead and take out the bonnet. This is what it looks like. Um, additionally, in here you also have the outlet 
you can pull that out and then plug it up. So what I like to do, go ahead and pull it out. There's this little um, section here where you can hold the outlet. Boom, plug it in, um, and then kind of leave it like that. Now what's really important to note here when you're actually about to use the hooded dryer, you want to make sure that when you are putting it here to secure the bonnet with the tube, the heating tube, that it snaps. So there's two little sections in here. You put it and then boom, it goes ahead and it makes like a snapping noise. You know that it's secure. This is important because you could, you know, have this on and while it's on, you're, you know, you think it's working because you're multitasking, doing something else, and actually the tube fell out, so there's no heat going in there. So you want to make sure you secure that for sure. Um, and then once you do that, you'll see that on the bonnet itself, there's this little um, elastic here, so you can actually, you know, make it the shape um, and be able to secure it to your liking. So it's very comfortable in that sense where it's not you know, too tight on your head or uncomfortable because you're able to kind of adjust it to your life. I love it, I really do. It's, it's really, it's a great tool. Um, it's definitely a goodie, 100%. <laughs> Would I say it's a staple that I use? Yes, um, I was so happy that I got it. In terms of price and where you can find it, I got this at my local uh, beauty supply store. Um, I'm sure that Sally's or you know any other one can, has something similar. It may not be this exact model. Like I said, there are various models. Um, but it was $40 for me. Um, I do believe it was on sale, so it may be $50, but I have seen some bonnet dryers that are um, a little bit more expensive, probably in the $65, $70 range. Um, so those may be you know, specific brands or um, they have some type of higher quality or they're, they're a niche type of product for something specific that you're trying to do. Um, but that's dependent, of course, on you know what you're looking for. But this works just fine for everything that I just listed in terms of how to use it. So if you guys have any questions on the bonnet dryer, my experience with it, um, please let me know. At the end of the day, I love it. I use it every single time I have wash day or like I said, if I'm kind of replenishing um, my hair, I use it as well. Um, it is safe for wigs and synthetic hair. That's something I did forget to mention. So if you do have a protective style in that is not, you know, like twist or like whatever is actually a wig or a sew-in or anything like that, you can 100% use this too. It's still safe. So thank you again for, you know, watching the video. Um, if you guys have any questions, once again, please feel free to leave those comments below. I can get to you as quickly as possible. Um, also, uh, please like, rate, and subscribe. Um, and uh, share, for sure, if anybody else was kind of looking and seeing if, if this is something that they were looking to invest in. So, thanks so much, loves. Bye.